Hi, I'm Elaf, and today I'm going to show you how to create beautiful, ultra-realistic product photos with AI. And I'm going to use some furniture pieces to demonstrate how to generate images and also how to prompt the AI to get the images that you want for your kind of use, whether it's for marketing or for your marketplaces or for your Shopify store or whatever it is, if you want some before and after, just to show people how your kind of products look in a lifestyle setting. The same strategy could be used for different products, of course, but in this case, I'm just showing you how to do it with a couple chairs and a sofa, since they are quite bulky and large objects. So it's a bit of a hassle to do a traditional photo shoot with them. So instead, I'm going to show you how you can replace that whole process, do it with AI. All you need is basically an internet connection and your laptop, and you can get some beautiful photos that you could use for your marketing. If you enjoyed this video, would appreciate any support. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out or kind of put them in the comments and I'll try and answer as many as possible. Or if you have a different type of product and you need help generating the photo, I'm happy to help you out as well. So now I'm going to share my screen and we'll get started. Here I'm on the background remover tab. I can upload a photo or select one that I've already uploaded before. Here I selected this green chair, then click on the green generate product photos button and it will send the photo to the third tab called AI product photos and editing. Here I can write a prompt. So what the product is, in this case, a green chair, then the box below it, I'll write where I want it placed. Here I want it in a modern living room, plant in the background, and once I'm happy, I'll click the green generate button. It takes a few seconds to load, then four images are created, and I'll download the one I like. Let's say I want to generate a few more variations for A-B testing. I'll edit the prompt box. Here I'll say in an all green room, plant in the background, and click generate again. I like how this one turned out, so I'm going to save it and do the same, but in a red room and a grey room, and then download the ones I like from those generations too. And now I'll show you them side by side so you could see how they all turned out. Next, I'll show you how to create lifestyle photos with this cream sofa. I'll start by sending the image from the background remover tab to the studio editor tab. The studio editor is the second tab and here I can adjust the position of the sofa in the frame and resize it so it's in the place that I want it to be in the photo. Once happy, I'll click the generate product photos button to send it to the third AI editor tab. Now, similar to earlier, I'm going to write what the product is, in this case, a cream sofa and where I want it placed, in this case, in a living room with a window, plant in the background, colourful rug on the floor, and then click generate. Four photos are created. Regenerate if you don't like them, but I quite like this one, so I'm going to save it. I want to generate another for variety, but I'm going to change the prompt. This time, on a marble floor, grey wall, large house, plant on the side, then generate again. I like how this one looks, but the wall is a bit empty, so I'm going to send it to the editor, paint over the wall, and see if I can get a painting hung up to make it look more like a showroom. I'll try it with the prompt, family portrait, then generate. I'm not a huge fan of these. I'll try changing the prompt to painting instead of portrait, and I'm going to generate again. Also not a huge fan. I'll make the painting a bit bigger, play around with the prompt again, and generate until I'm happy. So I quite like how this one turned out after I just wrote painting instead of the family portrait. So I'm going to download it and this is how the two photos look side by side. The final photo I'm going to generate here is this yellow chair. The same as before, I'll send it from the background room of a tab to the AI editor and type in my prompt. The product is a yellow chair and I want it placed on top of a small rug on a white floor in a modern bedroom next to a small table. Then I'll click generate. Full photos are created, I'll download my favourite one, which is this one, and then I'll save it by clicking the button on the top right. So that's the tutorial. You could definitely play around with some more kind of crazy or different style backgrounds. But in this case, uh, I just use kind of the classic, simple uh, background, something similar to what you'd see in a showroom, because that's what a lot of people who kind of sell furniture pieces have told us they like to see it, uh, or they'd like to see their products placed in. Uh, but feel free to play around with it as much as you like. Let me know if you have any questions, like I said. And until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.